Everybody tends, tends to tell the patient what to do. Maybe it's time for the patient to tell us what to do. I think that digital health in general has the capability to democratize healthcare. You ask 10 times more questions about your health to actually a, a computer than your physician. Because although the signals hold tremendous value, without being able to glean the insights from that data, it's completely useless. And so at Pulse Point, we make sense of all these signals. There's something that has a dramatic impact on the future that we don't talk about enough, and that's the 58 million open clinical trial seats. About two million get filled every year. These aren't just empty seats, they are unfilled promises of medicines that can save or extend people's lives. We have a checklist mentality in pharma, particularly pharma, and that checklist hasn't changed, so the first thing we need to do is fix that checklist. I definitely do feel at this point that there's movement, that there's traction, that there's change happening, and, I, and I'm reinvigorated by that. This is the only industry where you need to collaborate to succeed. Identifying those people who think alike can truly conquer and change the health and well-being of everybody in the world. We know we're going to challenge orthodoxy today. We know we may even be controversial, but we think we can solve these problems with radical health, health personalization and being inspired that we did it together.